Bullshit, a lot of randomness, a lot of us just being lazy as fuck. No. It wasn't really that. It was, well, scheduling issues. Scheduling issues. Major scheduling issues. Just real life getting in the way. Just, mm-hmm. Fuck you know, life, man. Yeah. Seriously. Fuck it in his dirty, dirty ass. No lube. I'm G-Roll. I'm Pistol P. Jr. And I'm Pistol. eating, like always. Yes. In case you forgot who we are, uh, we're still here. We're still doing this shit. We haven't given up. We're never giving up. Never gonna give you up. Already gave never up. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna run around or desert you. <laughs> um, never gonna get. Never gonna get. <laughs> so a lot of shit has happened since we've been gone. A lot, like a whole lot of shit. Like what? The biggest thing, to me, anyways, is the announcement of what was originally called the Nintendo NX. Nah, that's not news. Which is now the Nintendo Switch. I think, eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just to me. To me, the the, the, uh, the my favorite thing about the the Switch is the memes that I've been seeing about it. And it's pretty much people are just getting Wii control the the Wii U controllers and just chopping off the sides. <laughs> yeah, well, that is a, it's a cool fucking concept. It's a very cool concept. The one thing that, that kind of sucks, though, that, that... The only thing is, the, the only thing I don't like about it is just that the, the, the stock controller looks very uncomfortable. Yeah, because like it's meant to be that solid piece, but when you take them off, it's, they're just... Yeah. They're rounded on one edge and flat across the top, which is, yeah. Yeah. They look kind of weird. Um, I'm sure that those are kind of, like, you can get... Well, you get the... They have that pro controller. Yeah, yeah. Which is... Like a normal, it, lo- it looks like a PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. Um, and it, I mean, it, it looks like it's gonna have a lot of cool features and, and, and uh, uh, accessories coming out with it. The one thing that I was kind of disappointed in and that I love about the Wii U is that they're gonna take away the second screen ability. Like, mm-hmm. with the Wii U, you can, like, if I'm playing PlayStation. I can have Poopin' Baby. She can play on the Wii U or not. And, like, play on the the pad. She can't play on the tablet or on the... Yeah, she can't play on the tablet while you're playing... No, nope. It looks like... Yeah, from, from, what I, from what I've seen and from what I understand, that it needs the TV. The second screen is just the touch. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Why? No, no. They, they, they showed it, like, playing on an airplane with it. There's no TV to connect to. Yeah, no. I don't know. Maybe... No, like, you can play with it without TV. Then how come I was I was seeing I forgot where I saw that now I gotta, I'm gonna have to find the article, but I saw let me see I think I might have the article. Uh, maybe not. Probably won't be like a second screen thing where like you could. Where like one player's playing on the Wii U and you're oh, playing yeah, on the TV. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, because like um, it's not a second player controller anymore. Yeah, or yeah. Which that was a kind of a cool functionality of it though. It was it was a little bit gimmicky, but it was still kind of cool. Like there were certain games like uh, we have that Nintendo Land, mm-hmm. and one of the have you played that one, the Nintendo Land? No. There's like certain games on there like um, there's one game that it's kind of like a hide and seek style game. Where it's like two, it's like you're in this maze, and it's two, and, and like the player that can is, the player that has a Wii U controller, can uh, can see the other two. Oh no, can't see the other two. I forget how it is now. But you use a screen. The screen has an added ability, but the other people are faster, or something like that. 
and it's just I don't know it's it's, it's cool and there's like certain features that it has that I liked about it having the second screen but I'm just yeah. I don't think it's important enough to keep it yeah that's true I guess especially I, I think you're the only person who misses that honestly it could be it could be I was just kind of you know <laughs> oh excuse me uh, anyways so I think it looks really cool and uh Skyrim looks fucking awesome on that thing, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised that that fuck they had some like legit games coming to it and it's actually and a lot of people seem to have a problem with 720p. It goes down to 720p when you're using it as a portable. As a portable, but it goes full 1080. Which, yeah, which is it's fine for 70, 720p is fine for a small yeah. screen like that. This is perfect for a small. You don't need it go to the 10. The only reason why 720p doesn't look that great on like a bigger TV is because, because it's you're... blown up. Yeah, exactly. That's so, why you need 1080p on a TV. Yeah, but on a small screen, like the the all the shit we watch on our phones. You yeah. know what I mean? That's none of that's 1080. No, that's like 720. Yeah. You know, on our tablet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So and it's the same theory, but because it's a gaming console, people. Are... Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, it does play 1080 on a on, on a TV. TV. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But um, same thing. Exactly. I know. I think it's still gimmicky. Like, Nintendo's very gimmicky when they come out to it with their, like, from the Wii, since the, from the Wii on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's as, it's as gimmicky as... It's not as gimmicky, no. Like, the way they advertise it mm-hmm. in, like, their commercial, gimmicky. Yeah. But I think the portable thing has some very good use, yeah. usage towards it. Maybe not going to a basketball court <laughs> and playing 2K17 at the basketball court while there's an actual basketball court. Yeah, yeah. But, I guess you could argue you're waiting for your pickup game. Yeah, that's true. You're warming up. Yeah. Mentally. <laughs> mentally. You're working out strategies. Breaking a mental sweat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it is cool. And, and uh, you know, they're, they're not going to replace the, the DS there's, mm-hmm. there's still going to be a completely separate system, and then this is... Which is weird, though, because this is pretty much a fucking legit portable console. Not, then again, no, because this one probably is... Not necessarily, I don't feel like. No? I, this is, like, this is going to be more more hardcore, like... Because they, they've already shown the third-party support, mm-hmm. even though it's still kind of wishy-washy. Yeah. But... Um, they're gonna have the third party. It's gonna be. It seems like they're going for a more serious console. Mm-hmm. And then the the handheld portable is gonna could more. still do other things that they could do with the two screens and whatnot. Yeah. That that, that this game can. Good point. Uh, the one thing I was noticing is I, with the third party stuff. Uh, yeah, they are they are going for that whole. Like they're. How can I say? They want to become a major contender again. Maybe. I think they will. I think they will with this, and uh, with, with the third party support that they've announced, there's still more that they haven't announced, and there's still more that they're like. like apparently, I think it's not till January, January or March. I forget what they said, but they're not gonna. Well, March is when they launch. Yeah. Okay, so January. Then you're not, January. Gonna, yeah, you're not gonna hear anything else until January, mm-hmm. and then I guess they're gonna do another. They're gonna be. A, they're gonna do a full on event uh-huh. to kind of like what PlayStation, what PlayStation and Xbox did with the. The, the last two. The, yeah. Yeah. PS4 and Xbox One. No, the, uh, the pro and the pro and the whatever's mm-hmm. that fucking Xbox One, the Xbox Sebastian. Yeah. No, what is it? <laughs> Xbox Sebastian. <laughs> My brain. I'm like I'm the Xbox Seymour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Xbox Stanley. My brain. My I'm I've been doing back to back twelve hour shifts with very little sleep in between, so. Today was the first day I got a full rest, and my brain's still kind of catching up, so I'm a little like, bleh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spark Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> the Xbox Seagull. Oh, speaking of Xbox, um, PlayStation <laughs> uh-huh. has uh, announced they're officially licensing third-party controllers now. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, have you seen them? And their controllers look exactly like Xbox controllers. They look fucking just like. <laughs> well, one of them is a. Legit... One is blatantly an Xbox controller. The other one is an Xbox controller with the analog stick. Yeah. Like just... a PlayStation controller. Yeah. 
It's the Raiju and the Revolution. The Revolution is pretty much the Xbox controller. And then the Raiju is it's just... Uh. I'd probably buy one. I'd buy the Raiju. I'd buy the regular one. Yeah. The, the, the PlayStation one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Raiju is the one that looks more like the PlayStation controller. The Revolution Z. Yeah. xbox one. But it's... Uh, I don't know. It just, to me, it's like... I guess because well, they have so many people coming over from Xbox and they're bitching about the controller. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense for them to be like, okay, well, here. Now you can't bitch. Like, yeah. we're better. And we'll give you the fucking controller you want. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't buy one. Just for the paddles. They look fucking, like, the, 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 the paddles, like, the, everything about them look pretty fucking legit. So the Razer Raiju, uh, it's... Designed for com- uh, conquering professional esports tournaments. Yeah. I probably ex- get that one especially because it's by Razer. Yeah. And Razer's pretty good with their stuff. Two extra bumpers and two uh, extra detachable triggers. Built-in control panel on the front controller. Trigger stop switches and hair trigger mode for ultra fast trigger response. Two custom profiles which can instantly switch. With, uh, you can it- instantly switch between the modify. Headphone jack and dedicated headset volume and mic mute controls. Detachable analog rubber caps uh, with extra grip. Uh, compatible with all PS4 systems via braided 3mm long. 3mm? 3 3 long. <laughs> a 3mm <laughs> long cable. You have to be like right there. <laughs> a 3mm long cable. Uh, detachable for easy storage. So they're not wireless though. Because you know PlayStation will not uh, license wired, wireless controllers. Oh, for whatever really? fucking reason. It's because I think that they don't want to give away their proprietary. So, uh, but Xbox have a. Are they licensed? Wireless controllers, I don't think. But are they licensed? That's the, that's the question. I don't fucking know. I don't think they are. Because if so what does that mean? If there's third party controllers, like if if Sony if Sony comes out like Sony designs like a controller like this and releases it from Sony, then it'll be it'll be a wireless. I but think scuff controllers are wireless. But those are modified PlayStation controllers, though. Those are actual legit PlayStation controllers that have been modified, right? I don't think so. I'm no. pretty sure they are. Um, I'm like 90 percent sure they are. Um, They're pretty much modified PlayStation controllers. I don't know, man. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> but yeah, Sony doesn't usually license out license out um, their wireless capabilities. Oh, here's the backside of the of the Raiju. Yeah, some triggers and such. Uh, the, then the other one's the Nacon Revolution, and it says developed with esports players in yeah, mind. what is Nacon? That is, what, <laughs> never even heard I've of it. Never that. heard of Nacon. But, uh, the Nacon team is, do, 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 let's see. 46 degree amplitude dual analog sticks enhanced with innovative firmware for advanced esport accuracy and reach. Four extra shortcut buttons, eight-way D-pad, uh, custom, four customizable pro, uh, profiles, all configurable via the companion PC app. Uh, okay, don't care about that. Two internal compartments and six additional weights for tailored balance and feel. Uh, compatible with all PS4 systems with a three-meter long cable. So the other one just sounds better in, in general, too. Like this one, okay, it's customizable weight, but... You get used to the way to control it. You know? But I want the left side of my controller to be five pounds. <laughs> and the right side to be two. That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be playing like lops. See, like... Let me see. This. I, I gotta pick up the PS4 controller now. Like, this is a good weight. And, like, the way it holds... Because a lot of times when I'm playing, especially if I'm on the sofa, I play with my hands above my head. A lot of times, like if I'm laying down, I play, I play like this a lot. Which You're is weird. weird. Yeah, I know. But I do it. And like, I guess, I don't know, I guess balance is a major feature, a major function for me. So I guess getting a guys, guys like to get workouts when they're playing video games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some weights. Throw some weights in there. Get some gains. Have a 10-pound... Like a PlayStation controller that mm-hmm. you know, you're, just, you're like curling slightly because they jack off so much, they need them. Yeah. that's why they need the left side to be heavier. <laughs> they okay. need to balance out their fucking muscles because exactly. the right side's so fucking ripped. Your muscles jacking off, they do. 
Oh shit. Or left side if they're lefty. Yeah, depending on yeah. That's why it's that's why it's customizable weights. Yeah. Because yes. <laughs> um shit, I just I just remembered this. Um well I didn't just remember, I scrolled down to the next article. Uh-huh. And I forgot about this until I saw this. Is fucking Red Dead Redemption two. Mm-hmm. That was pretty big last week. That uh that trailer was kinda kinda disappointing. Yeah, it it was. But then again, it's just that fucking I know. teaser. You know what I mean? It's not. But like, why? I don't know. It's just like to me. I'm kind of bummed that it's not. I'm glad. It, I'm glad it's coming out this year or next year. Uh. But like, I want them to give us a full trailer. <laughs> well, I'm sure that we'll be getting one soon. It looks like you're gonna be like all those fucking cowboys running out. Into the yeah. Sunset. You're gonna be able to switch between all the characters like you can. Kind of like, yeah, I was gonna say. Um, the one thing that's weird to me that it's the actual title is Red Dead Redemption Two. It's not you know Red Dead Retribution, you know, Red Dead you know. Mm-hmm. It's Red Dead Redemption. Or, no, not it's Red Dead Re- Re- uh, Redemption Two, right? Yeah. Maybe it's just the code name or something. It could be. Because uh, the first one was Red Dead Revolver, and then now Red Dead Redemption. So yeah, I mean, it could be something. They could have picked another badass sounding Red Dead Revenge. <laughs> no. No. I think Retribution sounds Red good. Dead Revenge? Yeah, I know. Retribution, maybe. Yeah. But what's still. That, I'm trying to think, what's another cool sounding R word? That... <laughs> it's like to be Western. Yeah. <laughs> Red Dead Raiju. Red Dead Raiju. <laughs> So it's an Asian <laughs> samurai shows up in the Wild West, um, and and then Rockstar has registered for Red Ra- Dead Rockstar. Red Dead Rockstar, there you go. There's also uh, registered for Red Dead Online. So there's gonna be. What do you think that's gonna be? You think it's gonna be like Red Dead Redemption's online, or do you think it's gonna be like a GTA Online? I, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be like a GTA Online where it's gonna be more open world. Yeah, open world and just like. Hey, now we're all a bunch of cowboys. (laughs) (laughs) No more motorcycles. We got horses. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Horses and stagecoach. Yeah. No more cars. We got carriages. (laughs) Exactly. There's gonna be saloons. Mm -hmm. And just there's gonna be like you know how they have the the uh, the when like you know when someone keeps fucking with you, you can challenge them to a one on one death match. Uh-huh. He's gonna he's gonna do away with that. There's gonna be the fucking quick draw. Just and, you're just gonna be walking on the street. And there's gonna be two guys in the middle just shooting at each other. <laughs> <laughs> but it, they they don't say much about it. It's just they registered for it, but they haven't given any hits for what it is. I'm thinking that's what's gonna be though. Which I mean is cool. But yeah, I and mean, you know, I, I just realized I've never finished Red Dead Redemption. You seem to not finish a lot of games. No, I finished most of my games. Red Dead Redemption, I just you haven't finished Max Payne three. Yeah, no, yeah, there's a couple games. You haven't there. finished Final Fantasy seven. Yeah, and it, it, it's always something like the, the games that I don't finish. It's always something like I'm right at the fucking end, mm-hmm. and either something happens where I never finish it. Because mm-hmm. technically, I finished it in the Final Fantasy seven. Okay. I've I was at the boss battle. You did not finish it. I did not finish it. Your I, friend I finished it. I walked away, yeah. Well, because we were taking was it? Plans. Was it Leo or... It was, was Daniel. Someone? I don't know who that is. You know Daniel. Big tall motherfucker. He lived with you like for like a year. No. <laughs> no? Yeah. He did. <laughs> you were really little. You were probably like Jasmine's age. So... You know. That explains it. Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking... Max Payne, that just last fucking, that second to the last stage just fucking pissed me off. The stupid airport with the baggage thing, you come down the conveyor belt. And like, I, I had used up, I had like no pills left, no painkillers left, and I'm like fucking, I had like... I had better scrub. I was low, low ammo, no painkillers, and like, that's where I, that's the checkpoint where I'm just at. Just go melee ammo. Knock them all out. Karate chop them. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to try that. Uh, what was the other game that I haven't finished? Max Payne... Final Fantasy VII. You just said it, didn't you? Didn't you say another game that I haven't finished? I just said Final Fantasy VII and Max Payne. And now Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> but that one, no, that one, because I remember 
I think I got that one from Gamefly. I, never I bet you didn't finish game, Red Dead Revolver either. Yes, I did. I love that game. I love that game so much. <laughs> um, you can get like that poison fucking revolver or some bullshit. Was it? Yeah. Was it a poison? Oh, or it was, I know there was something. I don't remember. Something special about yeah. it. It was like a one shot. Yeah. Uh, GTA parent company files for uh, file trademarks for Ghost Story. Uh, I don't remember why I saved that one. Nobody cares. PlayStation 4 Pro has an extra one gig of RAM. Meaning. Is that a lot? That's not a lot. I mean, it is. As far as RAM goes. As far as RAM goes, I mean, it's. I guess it, it doesn't seem like a lot because, but what the thing is, is what it is. What is it for? It's for, you know, when you're switching apps on your PlayStation, when you put it into hibernation mode or anytime you're doing stuff like that, that's taking up RAM. Mm-hmm. And that's why there's that, sometimes there's that delay. Yeah. Well, so doing that on the PlayStation Pro is going to be a lot faster. It's going to be... So if you have multiple apps open, what the actual fuck? Okay, whatever. Well, if you have more apps open, the PlayStation starts to slow down, you know, especially when right. it comes to switching. Same with like a computer. Yeah. If you had a bunch of so this, it's going to be a lot faster when it comes to switching. A lot of, uh, and it's gonna, and, and what, what that one gig of, uh, of uh, memory is gonna be, it's actually gonna be av- available for certain games, so it, it'll, it'll be like t- adding 10% more memory to the games as well, so, which is cool. <laughs> Did you hear about the No Man's Sky thing from Hello Games? No. Uh, apparently they tweeted out, uh, Hello Games literally, they tweeted out, yeah, I'll let you read it yourself. No Man's Sky was a mistake. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then a bunch of people came and defended them. The game was perfectly acceptable. And, like, and everyone's defending them. Uh, and they came out and said, oh, they were hacked. They never they never tweeted that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean Murray, that weird motherfucker, uh-huh. uh, he came out and was like, yeah, we, we didn't tweet that shit. Uh, it was deleted. It's not, no longer on the site. Um uh, a lot of weird shit been going on at No Man's Sky or not, at uh, Hello Games recently. Like there was that, and there was another on their website as well. There was something else that was like under the description of fucking the No Man's Sky. Like, like it was like this game is boring. Like literally in the description, like this is a boring game, and then it goes into the the fucking. Uh, well, maybe they maybe they're getting hacked a lot. It might be. Maybe just because uh, the game was such a disappointment that people are mad. <laughs> they yeah. don't know what to do, so they do this. Uh, oh yeah, and he came out. Sean Murray came out and put a letter out saying that because after after the game kind of started like fizzling out, like uh-huh. no one's heard from them. They've been quiet. They haven't said shit. They haven't done anything. They haven't. Yeah. And so he's come out and apologized for being silent. The studio's like, you know, it's unprofessional, and you know, and so this, the this being them being hacked. But see, the thing is, okay, for them, for someone to hack their website, it has to be somebody... You think it was an inside job? I think it was an inside job, and I think it, I think it's a legit, like, someone, in either in, either that's how the majority of the team feels, or someone felt strong enough that this is bullshit, and we need to fucking point yeah. this out. Because, I mean, I got to play it, and it was enjoyable for a while. Yeah, it's enjoyable for, like... A little bit. Yeah, but then they could get and then you, really... And then you realize that you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, over. it's extremely rare. Infinite amount of times. Yeah. And the thing is, is like, you're not... Yeah, I don't know. It's just... There was so What much... disappointed me the most is you find the center of the universe, and then it just takes you to another galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's so much potential there. There really is a lot of potential there. But then it's just like... Okay, well now what? You know, mm-hmm. that's that's it. It's like, oh, look at all this fuck. I can explore all of this. <sighs> I'll let somebody else do it. Yeah. It's like it's, it's it literally it's like now what? Now, like, okay, yeah. I, I've, I've, like like I only played it for like maybe five days, and then like my character's already stacked. Yeah. He, I got. One closest to close as close as I could possibly get to like a highest ship. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my weapons are all like as deadly as they could possibly be. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And like there's, I mean, 
I didn't and get then the... when I heard what happens when you get to the center of the universe, I'm like, yeah. What do I play this one? Yeah. Why? Yeah. And and the thing is too is like, I, I when I played it, I wasn't able to interact with any other players. There was nobody. There was a whole thing about oh we're on the same planet. We know we're the exact same spot because we know what. Well, there's one. It's because their servers kept. Uh, if yeah. Fucking up. But the and, and I mean and technically I guess when I play so it, like it you're both playing on uh, uh, offline and you're in the same spot but you're not online. Yeah. So I mean I I think that would add more to it. But even then it's just like okay well. Yeah. It's just this yeah it, To me it was just it it got boring really really quickly, and I think the majority of people that were expecting this huge I mean it's it is huge, it's yeah. infinite. But at the same time, it's just like you're doing the exact... There's nothing new for each planet. And that's the problem with, you know, randomly generated planets. It's just, you know, it's the same. They can only do so much with each planet because it's randomly generated. You're not getting a new... You might you might find something new on each planet, or you're not, but you're not really getting a new quest. You're not, and like it's the same, go get me this and come back. You yeah. know, or I need this, or go kill that guy. Or, you know, it's like fucking... Well, there's no, no killing. No, yeah, no it's killing. Always, it's always just like... Give me some plutonium, bro. Yeah, it's always yeah. And I'll give you this blueprint that you already have. <laughs> yeah. I swear, dude, I've gotten like, <laughs> I just get blueprints that I always that I already had from the beginning of the game. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, look at a hyperdrive. I I got that from the tutorial. Yeah, I like I got that the beginning. But it's like fuck. Oh shit! The video game voice actor strike. I haven't heard anything new about that. Let me see. Cause I know it started. What video are they g- striking about? Uh, give me one second, and I'll tell so you. They don't think they're getting paid enough. Pretty much. Uh, what do they get paid? They get paid. I'm sure they get paid a couple million. No, nothing so. A uh, couple hundred right. thousand. No, I know they don't get paid that much. But yeah, they get they get a, a couple pretty, ten grand. Yeah, somewhere on there. No, I mean not even that. Sometimes though, depending on. Who they are and the level of you know. Okay, let's say the highest. Like, let's say uh, a Troy Baker. How much is he making? Like yeah, he he's probably you know in in, in the pretty high, high to mid tens. Mm-hmm. Fucking Tara Strong, another one that's you know making. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Uh, Nolan North. Yeah, fucking uh, what's his nuts? Bender. God damn it, I can't remember his name right now. He does have a lot of... He does a Matt job. Stone. I, well, he's... Or Trey Park. <laughs> they're, they're both... Yeah, they're, they're both making some pretty good money. Just cause that, that, but that's just not... That's not just from voice acting there. Yes, it is. Let's see here. They, One of them was just voice acting. So they want a... a Which one's the voices? Trey Parker or Matt Stone? They both, yeah, they both do the voices. No, but one does like a lot of them. I think it's... And Trey. the other one writes most of it. I think it's Trey that does more of the... The blonde guy? No. Oh, the, yeah. the blonde guy does the voices and the curly head guy... He's the writer. He's the writer. I, can, I always forget which one is which. Yeah. I always just know him as Trey Parker. Yeah. Son. Yeah. Yeah, the blonde one is the one that does the voices. Cause I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, cause I remember From watching... like basketball? Basketball, yeah. He's, he, he does like Cartman's he, voice. Yeah. And he does some like... That's exactly that's why I remembered it. Yeah. You know, uh, speaking of basketball, I haven't seen that movie in years, but like my favorite scene from that whole movie, <laughs> with the, the, when they're in the locker room and the girl walks in, and then every time they turn around, shit's just getting knocked over. <laughs> I mean, because you think about it, it's like you wrote a movie, and you put yourself as a star of the movie. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And then, doesn't she keep saying stuff like hot juicy cock and just like? <laughs> and it was just sexual in you and it. Yeah. It looks like the actor strike is still going on. What it's, do they want? How can we help them? They, what do they want? Justice. When do they want it? Now. <laughs> uh, looks like a nine percent pay raise is what they're looking for. Uh huh. And. Uh, it looks like it's just a nine percent pay raise would see a typical four voiceover session on camera day, uh, offer a new rate of nine hundred plus an additional compensation for up to nine fifty per game depending on the amount of sessions worked. Are they unionized? So nine, yeah, there it's a SAG, SAG or AFTRA. I think it's AFTRA. 
Yeah, Astra. Um, oh, so they're making nine hundred dollars a day, pretty much on uh, doing their voiceovers. Probably more mm-hmm. for the more experienced guys. Um, they want to, though they wanted to go up to nine hundred, up to, or up to nine fifty, depending on on the heavier work days. Uh, doesn't mean the union's demands will pay despite years of concentrated effort. Blah blah blah. So yeah, that's what they want. The strike has been a year in the making. And yeah, so they're on strike, and so that's gonna fucking postpone some games, and that's gonna fucking. Hopefully it doesn't take us back to the era of fucking Resident Evil and as remember how we did last week with the NBA 2K <laughs> or not last week but the last couple episodes ago. No. You remember the Hey bro, oh. good game. I wanna be like you one day. <laughs> and like just they just got the uh, just, the intern. Yeah. Say these lines, bro. Just, they're just reading. It's, it's we'll literally get you, we'll get you a job. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's literally them reading. It's like, cause there's no emotion because you're reading something, you know? It, it, I, I think and I, I think I used the example in, in, in the last time we talked about this, about voice acting. Because voice acting is fucking very important to me. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, one of the first times I really noticed the voice acting, and I think it's the reason it's one of my favorite games, is Metal Gear. Uh-huh. Metal Gear had legit actors that, you know, not legit, like, fucking people you know, but, like, legit voice actors that knew what they were doing and... and put emotion into their, you know, it, the voice acting wasn't perfect by any means, right. but at, at, up until that point, it was some of the best voice acting I'd heard. Uh, there was another game, actually, but this one wasn't just voice actors. It was actual, uh, uh, like, people on camera. It was called uh, Total, Total Eclipse? Yeah, it was Total Eclipse. On the, it was on the Sega Saturn. It was a it was a spaceship flying game. Yeah, and it'd be like uh, like the fucking frog in, in a... <laughs> Uh, Star Fox. Yeah, you know how they pop up. Yeah, how they pop up on your screen. It's like oh, you're six. Yeah, <laughs> but the, this one it had legit like the storyline. Like as you as you're flying, you have like a, a like a video com of somebody and like that person would be there talking to you and be having you know giving you the next mission or all, all things like that. And it was cool because like they they had legit actors and they were acting out the part. They weren't just reading from a script or or like, I mean, obviously they're reading from a script, but they're not in a room reading from the script. So it sounds like. Oh, you're six, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember on that one too. What was funny was there was, cause there was, like there was back then there was like tons of Easter eggs hidden in games and shit. I mean there still are nowadays, but not to the point where they're so hidden, I guess. And on that one there was this one where like the way you had to do it was, there was a mission where your team flies off and there's this other tunnel that you can take, but instead of taking the separate tunnel, you kind of kind of aim up to the sun in the background. And if you do it, if you time it just right, mm-hmm. you fly into the sun, which is weird because it's in the background, you know? It's like, it's, it's you know, like in the background, it just keeps yeah. moving away from you. Well, So you eventually fly into the sun, and that takes you to this secret world. or It's a secret level. Mm-hmm. And it's all the outtakes and just the fucking actors being stupid on the thing. Mm-hmm. Like, at one point, there's this big, fat, bald guy that, like, he's one of the pilots. And at one point, he just comes on your car going, Wee! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was just all the outtakes and then just this them being goofy and shit. It's uh-huh. fucking awesome. But like, <laughs> and it's just a whole bonus thing. There's, there's a few enemies, but like the enemies you do kill, they just explode with all kinds of power ups and fucking like. Uh-huh. It's just like the only time you can really max out your ship in uh-huh. the game. Because it was one of those games where like every level your ship reset for whatever reason, uh-huh. you know. But it was a cool game. Um. So yeah, but the voiceover, I mean, voiceover to me is at least, it's, it's fucking really important in games. Because shitty voice acting can make you, can, can completely take you out of the game. Like, to me, one of the things that bugs me, like, like okay, The Witcher is a fucking amazing game. Yeah. I love that game. But Dandelion's fucking, like, his, you know, like, when you when you leave a game, you come back and, like, or anytime you load, like, The Witcher is now doing this and blah, blah, blah. Siri went this way and then, it's it's like the, I don't know his his intro is just like fucking weird to me. Because wait like, wait what are you talking about with like when you first start the game? Yeah when you first and, he, and he's telling you the story of Geralt. Yeah when he's yeah when he's telling you of like how things so like okay so say you you close the game out for whatever reason you go to uh-huh. play another game and then when you come back to The Witcher as the like game is loading up menu. yeah okay yeah you get to I don't like, think there's anything wrong with this. Like, not to me because like 
because he's... I, I feel like when you like when you see him in the story, mm. then it kind of makes sense because that's just how his character is. Yeah, but that, very, he's very theatrical. But that's not what he sounds like. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He's more high pitched. He's more like. Well, this is this is him telling the story before, like. I guess. Years ago. He's older. Yeah, he's but still, he's story. still. But he does. He like all of a sudden he's all like, the Witcher Geralt is just, like it's just like I don't know. To me, it's just yeah. uh, and maybe because I've also read when I, the way I read the, like in the, I, I read the books prior to getting into this one, and I think I pictured his voice different. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't know. And then he like you know I, I always just pictured him more as a like I don't know. It's hard to explain. I guess I've always just pictured him more. To me, that throws it off. That's just, like, to me, that's not his voice. Like, oh, okay, uh, another example of voice acting gone wrong is fucking, uh, did you know they had a Guardians of the Galaxy animated series for a while? Yeah. Yeah, like, after the, the on, on the Disney Channel. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, Poop and Baby, she loves the Guardians. So she, we, we were watching the show one day. Like, I had only, I only let her watch it, like, once because the voice acting was just so terrible. Like, mm-hmm. none of the characters sound like, like... I'm not poisoning my child with this. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> the characters, they didn't sound like the fucking characters from the movie, which I get, okay, yeah, you're not going to get these fucking A-list celebrities and Batista. Yeah. <laughs> so all these A-list celebrities and Batista. Batista. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them aren't even A-list, except for, like, Bradley Cooper. Bra- well, no, you got Bradley Cooper. Fucking, no, you don't think, you don't think, what's I'm, your name, I'm, A-list? I don't and... think Vin Diesel is, not. I would consider Vin Diesel an A-list celebrity. No. I'd say like B. What about fucking what's his nuts? Fucking Who? Chris. Fucking Chris. Uh, Chris. Whatever his Why name. Chris Pratt. 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 Thank you. Okay, yeah, he's an A-list. Okay. Fucking uh, what's her name? The chick that was Gamora. Who is she? Oh God, I can't remember her what's name. What's her name? Catherine Zeta Jones or is it? No, that's. Uh... Uh... See, I don't even know who she Fuck, is. I can't remember her name now. We don't even know who she is. How she, how no, she she's, be a she's a legit. She's like, she's, you know. <laughs> I'm fucking pulling up Guardians of the Galaxy cast. Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin's A list celebrity. He was in the fucking Goonies, Men in Black. Okay, he might be B list still. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> I want to say it's not Rosario Dawson either. Nope. Definitely not her. God damn it. She's like one of those. Zoe Saldana. That's her name. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. I guess. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then Batista's like a D. <laughs> yeah. Batista's a... Just, that, that's, that's what's shitty about it is like... See, Batista's was, a wrestler. Yeah. That's, that's what it, He's a wrestler. Batista's like a wrestler. The Rock's a legit A-list celebrity now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, it took a lot for him to get past. Yeah. He's just, like, even when he was, like... Scorpion King. Yeah, but, yeah, oh, yeah. But I'm saying, even when he was, like, a B and C list celebrity, he was, he's just a wrestler. Mm-hmm. He was still, like, in, now he's an A-lister. Yeah, now now he's more of an actor than he's a wrestler. Yeah, now he's, now he's an actor. But uh, Batista still, he's just a wrestler. <laughs> like, it's, they still just give him... All right, but still, they're not going to get these higher-level higher, higher level celebrities. I, I, other than Batista, no one on that list is below a C level celebrity. You know what I mean? <laughs> so these guys are more higher. They're not gonna. They're not gonna just like, you know. But the, oh, the voice actor. Was Michael just... Rooker's not an A list. Yeah, no, Michael Rooker's not. No, he might be like a C. Yeah. You, C, C and above, I guess, is is where where they're at there. Um. What was I saying now? They were saying something about some. I don't know. Oh, about voice acting. But how, no, because like, to me, it really is important, though. Like, there's certain games where, like, if the voice acting's off, it just throws you out of the, it just throws you out of the story and throws you out of the, you know? Yeah. You need, you need that to pull you in. It's part of the world. Um, Immersion. Yeah. It, I mean, it, to me, it, it's a huge part of it. If, if I don't feel connected with the characters or I don't feel connected with the story, I'm not going to fucking keep playing the game. Like, to me, like, I'll play a game that I might think, like, okay... Uh, the order, the order, what eighteen eighty seven or whatever the fuck uh-huh. it is. Eighty six. Eighty six. Was not the best game. Yeah. It was. It felt like a long cinematic with short gameplay elements. <laughs> <laughs> but the story was good enough and the voice acting was good enough that it kept me playing the game. I finished it because 
I enjoyed the story enough. Yeah. So I trudged through a shitty game. Mm-hmm. Not Short shitty. enough to for attention span. Yeah. So I, I trudged through it enough to play. You know what I mean? If that game was like forty hours long. No, there's no way I would fucking <laughs> trudge through that long. Exactly. But it was yeah. But it was it was just a right mix of. It was really short too. That's now that I think about it. Yeah, wasn't it like three hours or some bullshit? Something like that. Might have been four. But yeah, it was pretty short. It took me like two days, two and a half days to finish it, baby. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Like, just off the top of my head again. No, I can't think of anything because most of the games, like, I, I, part of the, a lot of the games that I get, I get storyline games. You know what I mean? I get a lot of yeah. story. I'm only, I'm mainly multiplayer. Yeah. Like, I, I play a lot of games for their story. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Battlefield 1, mm-hmm. Call of Duty, and Dragon Ball Universe 2 all came out in the past, like, two or three weeks. Yes. All of them are amazing. Yes. Well, Call of Duty's all right. <laughs> the other two are amazing. And I still haven't played Skyrim yet, because Michael. Yeah. It's his turn to buy a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's his turn to buy a goddamn game. Um, yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about Battlefield. Um... There was one thing I saw online. It was a. Uh, uh, they were showing like number of players now online. Mm-hmm. It was like uh, I think it was Steam. It had to be Steam because the other game was a PC game. But it was a uh, uh, number of player number of players online playing uh, Call of Duty Infinite Infinite Warfare, right? And it was like it was like ten thousand something, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was number of players online playing uh, uh, Train. Remember that Train Simulator game that we talked about with the uh-huh. fucking most expensive DLC? Yeah. It was like 150,000 players. That's <laughs> PC. Yeah. A lot of people don't play Call of Duty. Anymore. Yeah, I just, thought, I just thought it was funny. It was like, the shooter, like the Call of Duty version on PC is Counter Strike. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what everyone so, plays. Call of Duty is more of a console game. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I used to play Counter Strike back in the day, and I, I liked it, but I don't know. It was just. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why people like it. Yeah, same thing with Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2, a lot of that thing has a huge following. It's a good game. It's funny and it's got some cool elements to it, but eh, you know. Is uh, Team Fortress Blizzard? That is Valve. Valve. Yeah. Let's see. I think I'm out of gaming news. I am out of gaming news. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, fucking, you know, you bowl. Or Yui Bull or whatever the fuck. <laughs> no. He is the director of horrible video game movies such as House of the Dead. No, yeah, House of the, what's that fucking? Resident Evil. No. What's that? What is that? House it's, of the Dead. Is it House of the Dead the one that you see it at the arcade? Yeah. Yeah. It's he did House of the Dead. He did uh. Mario Brothers. No, he didn't do Mario Brothers. He did uh, a bunch of shitty video game movies. I think they're probably... Time Crisis. He did Blood Rain. He did House of the Dead. He did Alone in the Dark. Jurassic Park? He didn't do Jurassic Park. No. This guy, he, he's infamous for doing shitty, shitty video game movies. And then getting mad at people when they call them shitty movies. Jurassic Park 3? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, he's he's officially made his last movie. He's not going to make any more video game movies. Or movies in general. Because the world doesn't understand him or his movies. Because the world hates you. Yeah, because he look, look at this is. So, you okay? This guy, this guy, the reason most people associate video game movies as being shitty movies is because of him. Is because of him. Are you sure about that? I'm yeah. Are you sure about that? I mean, Prince of Persia. Okay, yeah, that was, but still, I it's mean, like I what? Mean, Super Mario Brothers. <sighs> I don't I mean, know. I still blame I, mean, you. I still blame you both. I still blame this fucking guy. I don't know, man. I haven't even heard of the movies he's made. He's well. He was pretty. This was like, I guess, early two thousands, maybe. Okay. But uh, he just he fuck he yeah he he is infamously attached with the notion you couldn't turn a video game into a good movie. See, even this article says it. So yeah, House of the Dead, Alone in the Dark, Blood Rain, Blood Rain. Oh my god, I saw, I watched that on Netflix recently. Just because, like, I wanted to, like, I, I, I didn't realize it was a U Bowl movie until I was, it was too late. Mm-hmm. Shut up, you love U Bowl movies. <laughs> there was a scene in the movie, right? Okay, so Blood Rain, you know, you know you've seen the game Blood Rain, right? She's that mm-hmm. redheaded vampire chick with the sword things on her forearms. Like, no. 
No. She's like Baraka, but they're not in her arms, but they're like they strap on. Okay. She's got little handles, and she just chops people up. And she's a vampire that hunts other vampires. Okay. And she's like she's supposed to be like Laura Croft style sexy, you know. Uh huh. And uh. What giant tits? Yeah. Well, no, she's not, she doesn't have giant tits, but they they try to make her very, very sexy. Um. Uh, let me see here. Like absurdly large tits. Here, this is for uh, for reference. That's the character. Oh, okay. Yeah, so giant tits. Yeah, and then uh, this is the movie poster. Uh huh. So giant tits. Yeah. Um, there's a scene like she shows up like she gets she she's a vampire killer thing, and uh, she uh. Oh, look at that giant tits. Yeah, giant tits. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> and she goes around killing vampires, and uh, that's her thing, pretty much, you know. And I think I want to say at one point they're Nazi vampires. I could be wrong. I don't remember. I, I, I only played the first game. But okay. I think after a while they become Nazi vampires. But uh, because because why you not? can't have a villain without them being Nazis. Exactly. But at one point in the movie, so in the movie, she becomes Blood Rain and she starts hunting vampires, and but she's a vampire herself, and there's this group of there's like a brotherhood that kills vampires and at one point she happens upon the brotherhood's fortress and they're being raided by vampires and she helps and kills a bunch of them but then they throw her in a cell Mm -hmm. and like they like there's like it's a bunch of older dudes with beards and shit they're like the older Mm -hmm. like you know this is the brotherhood of vampire killers and this is the way thing we've done things for years so you lock that monster in a cage and like you young strapping <laughs> handsome <laughs> the only young one of us all you are gonna guard her uh-huh. <laughs> and like so he's just like sitting at a desk and he's got his feet up and he's just sitting outside of the cell and literally at one point all of a sudden like she keeps talking to him he's just like ignoring her then eventually he gets up and he's all pissed off and he walks over to the cell and she like rips the door off the cell and he just picks her up and starts banging her on the fucking wall. <laughs> like it's just like I'm, there's no fucking conversation he's just like they just start like they mean mug each other and then like they like he they kiss and then like he's the, the next scene he has her like pinned against the cell wall just just fucking banging away. All right. <laughs> like that's the kind of movies this guy makes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop corporal. <laughs> but it was it was just weird. Uh, but yeah, his movies are horrible. <laughs> They're all horrible. And uh, so. I mean, Assassin's Creed. I want to. I can't wait for that fucking movie. It's horrible. And then this is the thing, look, at it. he says, <clears throat> uh, look, I'm super busy. I can do three movies in two years. So You're the really earliest busy. I can do Hitman or Metal Gear, we, oh, this oh, this was uh, our quote back in the Oh, he did Hitman? And, no, he wanted to do Hitman, and he wants to do Metal, or wanted to do Metal Gear Solid. But he's so busy, he, he's, he's normally doing two movies at a time. What movies are you do, is he doing right now? Not anymore. No, he retired. But I'm saying he was what doing... What movies was he doing at the time? House of the Dead, Alone in the Dark, Blood Rain, Name of the King... When was this? 2005? 2006. And, yeah, so. But so, this is what he says why he's retiring. He says, the market is dead. You don't make money anymore on movies because the DVD and Blu-ray market worldwide has dropped 80% in the last three years. That's the real reason. I can't afford to make movies. He says he can't go back to make student movies. And he says, now he's like, uh, now when I don't he, make movies does anymore. Does he pay for the movies? What? Does he pay for it? Apparently he does. But he, he blames he all the movies. <laughs> this is what he says about the, all the movies that his are called fall, uh, flops. Uh, he says he blames their loss of money on the critics and people who had long said he they, uh, they, he goes, they don't even watch his films before watch, before panning them. He goes, mm-hmm. uh, maybe they'll find time to actually watch my movies, starting with Postal in 2005 and the movies of the last 10 years that I've made. And then they'll, re- then they'll realize that they deserve to be bigger than they were. Uh-huh. Why are we talking about something from like 10 years ago? No, because the guy just decided he's not making movies anymore. Oh, he died? No, no, he just retired. <laughs> he's finally retired. Like, he's a fucking hateful, just... Uh-huh. Just a hateful, hateful man. He's just like... like he. <laughs> there was a video, he, he was trying to make uh, Postal 2 or another... Or Rampage 2. He was trying to make a movie on Kickstarter, right? Uh-huh. And like after two or three days, like he hadn't earned like... I think he earned 100 bucks and he was looking for like a... Hundred million. <laughs> he was looking for like a hundred thousand to make his movie, and like after three days on Kickstarter, he was like, "Fuck Kickstarter! I'm never going through crowd." He's German, by the way. 
<laughs> I'm never going through crowdfunding again. Fuck you all. Fuck uh, social media. Fuck this and fuck. And like, he's just like, this, literally just, that's the tirade. Of, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pull it up on YouTube because I don't do it justice. Let me see here. U-E, and his name is U-W-E-B-O-L-L. And it's a uh, rant. There we go. He sounds like a fucking fish. And, uh, so, uh, basically, my message yeah, yeah. is fuck yourself because that is so fucking absurd. What retarded amateur idiots I'm collecting idiot. money on that absurd websites? You know, we get approached by people like Kickstarter. Do it, do it, and you have hundreds of thousands of people contacting you to make a fast dime to say I can push your uh, campaign and I get ten percent of whatever you collect, and it's all a fucking bullshit I will never do it in my life again for me crowdfunding is absolutely dead goodbye and it looks like nobody gives a shit about Rampage 3 so maybe I shouldn't do it then I have enough money to play golf till I'm dead and I was willing to do all of this as the campaigns for to make any money I want to do Rampage 3 because it is an important movie Rampage by the way is a movie that is just horrible <laughs> Rampage is it's it's on it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. Uh-huh. If it's if it's the one I think it is, let me see, let me let me let me verify before cause I, I want to make sure it's not the one uh, that I think it is. Rampage like the monsters destroying the city. Rampage? No, not that one. <laughs> that's the one I was thinking it was, but no, that, that's why I want to verify. Rampage, okay, it's about this dude that fucking. Uh, here, here, here. This is a synopsis for Rampage. A frustrated young man dons body armor and executes random strangers. <laughs> and le- legit, he just fucking, like, he's in body armor, and no one can kill him because he's wearing this body armor. He's just going around fucking killing people. Uh-huh. And that's that's the gist of the movie. Because, yeah. That doesn't sound like a movie at all. No, it's not all, it's, and it's, the thing is, it's not a horror movie. It's not a, it's, it's just a dude that gets frustrated with the world, puts on all this fucking body armor. He just rubs like he just it's like a fucking yeah yeah. You gotta make two of those. He he made four of them. So so when was that crowdfunding thing that, that he was started? about a year ago? That was about a year ago. Yeah. What do you mean he's making? He was trying to make your rampage three. How is how is he made four rampage? He ended up right after that. He ended up going into production on his own making that one, and he made three and four at the same time. So three and four are not out. Three and four are out. They eventually got released on, on, out, of, out of his own money. When did they get released? Fucking... Let's see. The original Rampage came out in 2009. Uh, let me pull this back up. Oops. Damn. So... 2000, wait, yeah, 2009, 2014, 2016, he just came out with Rampage President Down. Because now he goes to the White House. Uh-huh. And, uh, so, the, oh, no, I'm sorry, there was three of them. So he made the third one that just came out this year. Yeah, he, he has another movie called Blubberella. Blubberella. Which is a fat girl with explosive footsteps and dual swords, and she just goes nuts on people that fucking... What do explosive footsteps do for you? I have no idea. And apparently she's fighting Nazis because... Does it, like, propel her? faster like she steps and she just like flies towards her enemies because of the ex- the force of the explosion oh God. this is this is you know how they have the how the movies have that uh, uh what do they call it it's not a subtitle it's that uh the, the the catch the catchphrase for the movie uh-huh blubberella she will kick ass with her big ass oh jeez. yeah apparently she's fighting nazis in this look at this is the yeah. movie cover Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. Oh, and she's half vampire. Half vampire, two and a half women. Two and a half? Well, because she's, she's big. So she's like two women, two and a half women yeah. big. And she's half vampire. <sighs> See, this People guy... didn't get mad at this movie? 
Apparently not. But I mean, because it's fucking you, Bull. And he's just fucking horrible. He's just so fucking... nobody knows about directors until after the fact. No, every fucking. Ask any gamer about you, Bull. Any real fucking gamer from old school. And then they know who that okay. fucking guy is. But you have to watch. Right. You don't know who Steven Spielberg is until you watch one of his fucking movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I get that. Okay, well, yeah. I don't think, yeah, that's the, the thing is, I don't think people watch these movies anymore. They just, because they're just shit. They, like, people, okay, like, when he first started, like, when he, when he first started making video game movies, when he made Alone in the Dark, people were like, oh, Alone in the Dark, that's a fucking great game. I want to watch this movie. And then it was a horrible, horrible movie with Christian Slater that was just horrible. Had nothing to do with the game. That's the thing, too, is a lot of his shit has nothing to do with the games, you know? Like, it's just like he takes a name and a basic concept and then fucking make, does his own thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so enough about you both. It's like, it's like somebody dared him, hey, make a movie called Blubberella. Yeah, pretty much. Like, how would that be a movie? <laughs> so, I got some good good Hollywood movie news. What? Donald Glover. Lando Calrissian. Uh, I don't like it. You don't like it? Nope. Really? I feel like it's forced. Like, everyone's just been wanting... Uh, Wanting Donald Glover to be something. Yeah, but... Like, they want him to be Spider-Man. No. Yeah, All but... Right, how about Lando? I think Maybe. he'll be... I think he'll be a good Lando. He's a great actor, and, like, I think he has the charisma to pull off that character. Oh. I have to see it to believe it. I think, I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna do good. I don't know. But at the same time, I don't want to see this Han Solo movie. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, that... I mean... Yeah. I guess it's the last Star Wars movie that I ever want to see is a so is a Han Solo Han Solo origin story. Ewan McGregor wants to make two more Obi Wan movies. He wants to do that'd be cool. He wants to do Obi Wan origin stories. Yeah, but like Ewan McGregor wouldn't be there if he was if it was an or, origin story. Oh, I think or maybe they're not origin stories. Let me see. He here. would have to be younger. He would have to be young. There there could be a story about uh, how he ended up on Tatooine. Okay, no, it's not. It's, yeah, that's what it is. Like between yeah. uh, episode three and four. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That would be cool. I'd be cool with like a a young Obi Wan. I don't I don't know how it would play out, but like Qui Gon teaching Obi Wan to be a Jedi Master and shit. Yeah, but see, I mean, we kind of had that. Story. Not really. He was a what, what was what was he? Just a Padawan? Or he was, was still he a Padawan at the time. The Padawan was like, I want, I want a little baby Obi Wan. Ah. So you want like a? <laughs> and like Qui Gon in his prime. Yeah. Just kicking ass. So who who would replace Liam Neeson? Because you can't have Liam Neeson because he's old now. You can't. Liam Neeson's a badass. That's true, but Liam Neeson's gonna live for him. The CGI Liam Neeson. Yeah. Um. All around. And then Deadpool 2. Yeah, that one's having some problems. Yeah. The, uh, uh, what's his name? Tim Miller? Tim, Tim Miller, yeah. Tim Miller, he's officially left the project. Apparently, though, I mean, it might be a good thing. Maybe. Because have you heard the reasons why? Uh, the only reason I know of is for their choice on cable. Mm-hmm. And Tim Miller wanted a Kyle Chandler, I believe. Yeah, he wanted that. Film. Where uh, Ryan Reynolds wanted, I forget who. He wants somebody else. <laughs> I think it's Stephen Lang is the guy's name. Uh huh. The guy. From yeah, yeah, the Avatar. guy from Avatar. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's who they're looking at. Um, but the thing about it is that's well, that's that's one that was one of the major issues. The other issue was Tim Miller wanted to okay, we proved ourselves in the first one, give us more money. Yeah, and they were like, and and the writers and Ryan Reynolds were like, well, we can do another movie, with, we don't need a huge budget. We don't want to do a huge blockbuster. We want to do what we did with the first one. We want to do a small, you know, that's what made it good. Yeah. Because we didn't, we had to, we had to become, uh, uh not inventive. Yeah, to be more creative. Yeah, more creative because like this is this is what we have to work with, you know. Yeah. And the story, the story had its issues, but it was still a great overall story because they were able to work around things. Yeah. And uh, uh, so that was, I think that was a major issue between the guys. There's a petition online right now because apparently I don't know that I don't know, I don't know it might have changed now. I, didn't, I haven't seen anything recently, but um, I know they don't they don't they don't have a director yet. Uh huh. And I saw a campaign going around to get Quentin Tarantino to direct it. 
And well, I love Quentin Tarantino's movies. He would. I don't. I don't think he would go for it. I don't think he would either. Apparently, he's a fan of Deadpool. But yeah, I don't but think I still don't think he would go for it. Yeah, I don't think he, he. I don't think he makes. He doesn't direct anything. He doesn't write. Yeah. You know. He want yeah, and he want he wants to do things his way. Yeah. And, and he would. I don't think. I don't like, think. I don't think he would be able to gel with, uh, with uh, Fox and their fucking fuckery. Yeah. And I just think that the. Ryan, I don't think him and Ryan Reynolds would have the chemistry that. Or maybe I mean they might in another movie, but not in this. Yeah. One. Like Deadpool's not the kind of character that Ryan, that that uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino writes. Yeah. You know, he's too uh, like he'll end up more neurotic and more like like I don't know. He just he would just be awkward. He wouldn't be Deadpool. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, I, he's a great director. I think he's fucking awesome. But yeah, I don't think he'd be. I don't. He's not Deadpool. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, he's not a Deadpool director. Um, is there anything you've heard recently? Anything in the news that you would no. like to speak about? All right. Well, I think we're gonna kind of wrap. Yeah, yeah, everything we talked about is pretty much in here now. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up on that note. Uh, oh, you said you saw Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. No spoilers, please. I, I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. It's a great movie. Um, and I think everyone will like it. Nice. Um. Yeah, go check it out. I'm going to go check it out this weekend. Mm-hmm. Or, it's not the week, it's my weekend, um, which is tomorrow or next day after. Uh, but on that note, game over. No more questions. What are we talking about?